As an actress, um, for me, I love the challenge of being able to play a range of emotions. Um, as you can see, Silver has gone through quite the extremes of everything. I mean, she has been so in love with Dixon and kind of making a sex tape and just all over the place. And for me, I always want to play the truth of it and play as realistic as I can just what she's feeling. And when she goes through her bipolar spells, when she is actually manic and, you know, talking in rants and kind of making very, very extreme choices and having like grandiose ideas, um, I never want to judge her, you know, because that's, in her mind, she's, she's right. I mean, everything that she's saying makes sense. I mean, it's, it gets convoluted, it gets, you know, people around her maybe not understanding, but she is, in her mind, being creative and being, you know, doing the right thing. And so, um, again, just trying to find what it is in that character that makes them think that and just playing the truth of it. Is there hope for Silver and Dixon? Um, of course, there's always hope for true love. <laughs> um, Dixon's been amazing throughout the whole season because he's stuck by her when, you know, her alcoholic mother came back and she's been with him when he's had troubles. And so, I mean, they are truly an amazing couple as far as the rest of the season when, you know, obviously you see that she's with him in the end of this episode and he's comforting her. Um, she's still going to go through some transformations, though. I mean, she's still trying to figure out who she is and whether or not she can still be around her West Beverly friends and, you know, if she's too embarrassed because of the sex tape. And, you know, there's a lot of her just trying to figure out what to do and him kind of fitting into it. So in the end, will they end up together? We have to wait and see. <laughs> it's always fun to see where they're going with the characters. Um, there were a couple, a couple episodes towards the end of the season that I saw that uh, Ethan and Silver were hanging out a little bit more than they had in the, the episodes prior. So uh, whether or not something actually happens with them, it may or may not happen. <laughs> he's, I mean, he's a great actor. He's a great guy to work with. And so uh, it's, it's kind of fun just to even try things. Uh, absolutely, there's going to be some conflict with Silver and Kelly. I mean, the fact that Silver, again, is trying to find herself, and she just found out that she's bipolar. Um, whenever she kind of is going through her recovery, she's trying to figure out, you know, how to take the pills. Does she go to bed at a certain time? Does she go down the straight and narrow? And yet, she's got so many amazing qualities about her that are getting stifled. You know, she's got, she's into the music, she's into the art scene, and, and all of it kind of just gets like zoned in to just being recovered or recovering and so when when her sister Kelly tries to enforce all of this she wants to rebel she gets she gets aggravated by it I mean she's trying but she gets really aggravated so there's a lot of drama to be had there there's a lot that we can do with the fact that Silver you know does have a disease this is something really serious this is something that is out there in the world and um, the fact that she you know has just now begun her recovery and is at times wanting to be full force, like fully going with it, and then at times hating it, hating everything about what the recovery is and the, and the medication that she's on and having to kind of be on a strict lifestyle. Um, I think there's a lot, a lot of realistic, you know, situations that we can have in the future, and I think we're definitely gonna kind of go down those.